Oh dear. Well, <sighs> it's time for the grind. <sighs> I thought you were taking a break. I'm gonna get all the setup out of the way. Set the fishing rod, unlocking the daycare, unlocking the transfer. We're gonna get all the tools we need. Then we're going on a break from this game. <laughs> Okay. I don't remember where the fishing rod is. I think it's November Town. <laughs> yeah, me too. So do I. I think you get it from the previous games, man. Oh, Christ, we need to do that as well. Oh, fucking hell. Right. Yeah, then it's Castle. We can do that whenever. Because all yeah. that does is give us Reshiram Akira. Uh, well, Zekrom and Kirim in this case. And the seasonal rematches. And the seasonal rematches, which, uh... Check. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be like Gen 5 weather teams. <laughs> those... Those teams are kind of cracked, though. Uh, so we have the National Pokedex now, so let's actually look. Sends up Hollytoad. Screams. Screams! <laughs> 134. Out of 649. It's a bit less than that. It's a little bit less than that, because yeah. mythicals, but... It's like... It's... One, it's a two, three, bit. four... Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... Eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's thirteen mythicals, I'm pretty sure. So that is 636. I think I already went through the document and marked all the mythicals as zero. Oh yeah, you have to fight Elder too. Thankfully he's really easy. He's like level 60s, like almost bang on 60. Well, we need to fight Elder first because this unlocks something we actually have to do in this version of the game. <laughs> what, you can't get like the Gibble any other way? You cannot get Gibble any other way in this game. You can get Dragonite. Several different yeah, Dragonite's ways. fishing, I think. You can find it in the wild, and you can get it in a hidden grotto. Garchomp, I'm fairly sure you can only get via this method. Let me actually look. Because I know, like, the prescribed way was to go through the dream world and get it that way, which is what I did. Um, like a reasonable person. <laughs> yeah. There is no other way to get Gibble. There is no correct. other way to get Gibble. So, if you want Garchomp in this which game. Is kind of, <laughs> which is kind of crazy given uh, how pivotal Garchomp was in Gen 5. Yeah, given how, you know, Garchomp, Garchomp is. <laughs> yeah, that, that didn't change. Like, at all. Has he always had a Conkholder? Alder? No. His team in black and, and white was, like... was a Selgor, a Scavalier, a Volcarone, a Bufalump, Vanillux, and I think Dredigan. Yeah, that was it. Bufalump, Vanillux, and Dredigan. And then the three bug types. I need to get out more. <laughs> to be fair, Alder's team isn't that hard to remember. Because you just remember he has three bug types, and then you just remember you just try to think of the other three. Yeah, so Conkeld is new. I'll drop the Dragon for it. Yeah, because here comes the bull. And we've already seen several turns of the Dragon already. Bufalon is a Pokemon that just never shows up in anything. Yeah, because Tauros just exists. 
So it's late game black and white, it's late game black and white 2. Is it in X and Y? I believe so, but it's like mid to late. I'll look. Buffalo. It is not in X, Y. In Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, it is one of the hidden Pokemon. Okay. It's not Gen 7. It's not Gen 8. Well, hold on. No, it has to be it's... either Gen 8 or Gen 9. No, it's in Gen 8 in... I think it's, I think it's Isle of Armor. That sounds right. I want to say it's like just northwest of the dojo. You can find both along there. And it's not in Gen 9. Yeah, Buffalon just doesn't show up in anything. You know what? It's weird it's not in Gen 9, given, you know, Spain. <laughs> we, like, just a rooster Pokemon? <laughs> yeah, like, a rooster. Um, I mean, to be fair, a... they did Paldean Tauros. So it's like... That's, it's just, that's a start. That's and a like... start. But you also have every other dog in the game. <laughs> Yeah, the British Bulldog, and like, we have a bunch of things that are Spanish. Yes, the other hemisphere of Spanish. Yes, the other, yes. Uh, <laughs> huh. Why, like why are all these Pokemon based on Brazil? Oh, right, the Spanish. <laughs> yeah, Quack Quackaval, Brazil. <laughs> Quackaval, yeah. Uh, Skeledurge, you know, obviously. Skeledurge, yeah. Central America. Central America in general. Miascarada. Just Spain. Meowskarot is, okay, I'll give it that. But Crocolore, people don't wear sombreros in Spain. <laughs> they wear them in New Mexico and Latin America. Uh, what else? Mabostiff, which is Italian. Italian and British. Um... Pormot, Paul which is, uh, Marmot. Do they have marmots in Spain? I don't think so. <laughs> Alright, let me just look up marmot on Wikipedia. See if they have like a little map. Ah, uh, they... Not really. Because I just picked like marmot and it gives me like everything. Oh yeah, hold on. Siberia, Alaska, Siberia, Eastern Europe to Central Asia, the mountains. I'm reintroducing the Pyrenees, I don't think that officially counts. North America, Canada. Yeah, so it's like Siberia, Asia, the Pacific Northwest, and like the mountains of Europe. That's so weird. Yeah. Now I know how the whole An outbreak fell. at Route 15. That is... Is that just across the Marvelous Bridge? I think that's just across the Marvelous Bridge. So you know what, let's... Trainers so there? we've unlocked... Are trainers there? Uh, oh, there's gotta be a Cresselia there. <laughs> I, I, said, I said trainers. Yeah, so you, you can skip the Cresselli. It's like the Lunar Wing is reacting. You can just say no and keep walking. Yeah. Um... You know what? I I think there is, but we did get to the Transfer Lab anyway, so... Transfer Lab is on Route 15. So yeah. October 1st. Next time I have to play White 2 is on October 1st. I think. Why? Because um, one of the achievements is uh, the turntable in Anvil Town. Oh, and okay. One train, and, one, and one of the funny trains is available only like five days out of the entire year for some reason. Yeah, see all the trains is a, an achievement. Yeah, like most of the trains make sense because it's like it, it's on like a 10 day cycle or something. So you can like see all of them. Except for one. Hmm. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, this a, yeah, it's a ten day cycle. So if you like play the first two tenth of like a month, you'll see ten of them, and then the last one is just like diamond dust for some reason. Fucking good luck. Really weird. Yeah. What is it, Master's favorite train? Dodge that uh, bridge there. This is this is why I was like, how do I not have this achievement? I've seen like ten trains. Oh, there's eleven. <laughs> Yeah, I look at it like, this is so stupid. I don't know if it's more or less stupid than the musical achievement. <sighs> that one is that one is get ten fans in the lobby at the same time, which requires you to do like a hundred and fifty musicals or some shit. It's it's that's a lot. I look yeah, I remember looking at the chart with these like, wow, this growth is this growth is exponential. Yeah, it's exponential, which is fucking disgusting. <laughs> like, like it starts linear, and then like when you get to six, it's exponential. Like, I don't understand. Oh, there's an achievement for getting an extra drink from the vending machine as well. There is. I think there is. Yeah. Let me see. Oh yeah, there is. There is. There is an achievement for getting a bonus drink of the vending machine. And they told you it was like, what? 3%? I think so. There's a, there's a guy in this game that tells you the odds are like 3%. There's one for buying 10 drinks, and there's one for getting a bonus drink. <laughs> I think ah. Magic Art Man is still here. Yeah, Magic Art Man is still here. There he is. Yeah, we'll come back to that. And Swan is here. And Feathers, but whatever, we can deal with that later. <laughs> nope. No. <laughs> We're not oh. doing that yet. I <laughs> I don't remember if the girl shows up in black and white too. I think she does sometimes. Three percent. There he is. This is row fifteen, which is a lot bigger than it looks. Looks. Yeah. But you, you can you can skip all of it. I do have a spare ditto, and I do need to get Rotom, so that's something we can do pretty sharpish. Um, Isn't Ditto in the chasm? Yeah, I got I caught a Ditto. I caught a Ditto. Um, so I need to remember that Rotom's there. Ah uh, yes, now we're gonna start seeing the funky shit. Yeah. Barathorn preschooler moment. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Look that at my first fight. Pokemon level 65 Barathorn. That had that fight had me giggling. I'm like, this child is packing heat. Uh, unfortunately, oh so God, am I, flamethrower. <laughs> you have a fire type? Aw, oh, what a shame. <laughs> oh, what a shame. That's a <laughs> what a bad day to be a preschooler. <laughs> what a bad day to be a Gen 5. <laughs> oh, we're going to hell. I have this stranger to play Emeralds with a really goofy team, but I have to look up where all the goofy things are. Just to make sure I'm not double dipping. <laughs> and then there's a Stoutland. <laughs> Can I catch this early? How silly are we talking? Like, do for town. I want, I, I want to see if I can get. I want. I don't remember if Emerald is one of the games where you can catch things besides Smash Carpet. You can. Yes, Sick. you can find All Tentacle right. in. Yeah, I've, I've never right. actually used Tentacle. I've never actually used Tentacle before. Nor have I. I, I know it's good. I've just never used yeah, it. Yeah, it's one of those Pokemon I like, I know you're good, but I always pick the Water type star. <laughs> The thing is, I, I never pick the water type starter, so this is gonna be kind of whatever point. 
but like the thing is like in Hoenn, you get all the water types at once. Yeah. And like there are like three water types you can get early. Well, four: Magikarp, uh, Tentacle, Wingle, and Meryl. Because there's it isn't in the game. Then, Lotad. Uh, yeah, I'm dead. And then, like, all the other water types you get at the same time. Yeah, like Corfish and uh, Goldeen and. Yeah, but like. Kavana yeah, and but Waylord. Like, yeah, it's like looking at Tentacle, you can get it at, like, level 10 really, really early. It's probably the earliest you can ever get it. So that got me interested. Th there are lots of water types I've never used. Probably because it's the most common type. But. You know, my affinity for water and ice types just kind of fucks me over in that regard. Because it's like, well, I'd love to. My affinity is for the thing But I've already got an Empoleon. <laughs> I think I know what I want for my team. Like, I, I, it's like figuring things out as I go, but I also kind of know what I want. This is going to be really goofy. Oh, that's weird. You know what? I'm glad I finally used the Zangus and a Survivor. Those are big funny, honestly. Oh, they are big funny. And the best part is Zangus can be scarier if you get a hidden ability one. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a, that's a swarm here, isn't it, Firo? A look? I'm fed sure it's Firo. I believe... Uh, I have got I Swarm anyway. on my list here, so I think it is. Yes, it is. I figured it was, because, like, it's much lower level than everything else here. Because, like, Wilds are, like, normally 55 plus in the post game. So seeing a 47, it's like, hmm. Hmm. Zero gets. God in heaven, you can find Tyranitar here in Rustling Grass. I can fucking do what now? <laughs> well, you, you can find Pupitar here, just normally a level 55. <laughs> I can I can find wild Tyranitar in this game. I knew about the Metagross. <laughs> and I knew the about Dragonite. Metagross. Yeah. I, I didn't know about the Tyranitar. <laughs> I forgot. I I forgot about it. I I don't think I knew about the Tyranitar. Honestly. Dear God above, that's... Oh, Oof. I probably did, but I forgot. Why I forgot? Why, why would you forget <laughs> information like, like Wild Tyranitar? It's like... It's a wrestling grass, and Pupitar is here. But there's no reason to ever come back here unless it's for the transfer lab. I, I, I just... Wild Tyranitar. That's like, not, that's like finding the wild Salamence in fucking Ultra. You can do it in normal, too. No, no, it's, it's, just, it's just funnier in Ultra, because you can take that Salamence and fight the God of Light. Sorry, you can take that Salamence and attempt to fight the God of Light. <laughs> you're gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna lose if you're taking the Salamence, but that's not the point. You know what the best counter for that fucker is? Mimikyu. I did remember Gliscor being there, though. Like, Gliscor is also on this route. That one I did remember. Ah, oh, Torkoal. You're not there yet, but you will be. Triple Hill, like, kind of a high point in Gen 3, kind of, like, slid off, and then came back. So I've used regular Marowak. I've never used Alolan Marowak. Well, you see, I played PGC 2017, and it's kind of cracked. <laughs> Everybody's played a load of Marrow. Because you gotta remember, on day one, the biggest threats were Tapu Koko and Magnezone. Look, a wild sand. And those are the. That's a bigger sand. No, oh, sorry. And things like Tapu Koko and Magnuson require some very quick and immediate responses. 
<laughs> the, the thing you say about that is, Tapu Koko and quick. That's right, okay. So, what things have lightning rod? You do. <laughs> what things can hit them back for super effective damage? Oh, the thing with lightning rod. Yep. Being out the front, why not? Where's my burrito? Oh, hello. Ah, oh. <laughs> that's waiting. not a Tyranitar. <laughs> All right, Audino seventy-five percent chance. Emolga is ten, and then there's three fives. And the fives are obviously Tyranitar. The score and the martial artist. Oh, Mancha. No, like Thrower Sock. Oh, Thrower Sock, okay. I don't remember which is which, but one of them is normal grass, the other one's rustling. And it depends on the version. Okay, Sock is the normal one, and Throw is in the rustling grass in these games. Or at least here. That's right, I go to strength. Um, do, you, do you have a watchog? You know there's a PC like just up those stairs, right? Yeah, I know. But there's also a part of me that's like. Iron head rock slide swords dance. You don't need swords dance. That is just an undeniable fact. Well, like, you don't need it, but it makes you way scarier. It's like yeah. when you see Garchomp like sword stance, and then you panic. Did they ever give Garchomp dragon dance? Um, if you think they did, Fuck. I've probably known about it. <laughs> I feel did like, I feel like the news. Dragon? Hey, to be fair, I didn't know they gave fucking Sizzle close combat. Probably Gen 9 thing. Like, if they yeah, gave. I think he was Gen 9. Like, if they gave it Dragon Dance, it would be Gen 9. Because. If I had known about Garchomp getting Dragon Dance, I would have been all over that. And so would have half the internet. I don't know. Half the internet's currently geeking out about Pachirisu again. Didn't do anything, but hey. Why can Steelus get Dragon Dance? I don't know. Okay. I have checked. Nothing native to Sinnoh gets Dragon Dance. I mean, that's probably for the best. It is. <laughs> the world is safe. They gave Arceus Dragon Dance in Gen 9. Oh, whoopee. I don't like that matters, because, <laughs> you know, whatever. You know, if you're fighting an Arceus, you've got bigger things to worry about than whether or not it's going to set up. Are you sure? Well, it's how it's going to set up is what you want to worry about. Yes. It gets many, many set of moves. I mean, it is God. Oh, this will amuse you. So, at work I was unboxing a product called a Teddy Long Hot Water Bottle, right? Because obviously it's a, it's a Teddy textured hot water bottle and it's long, right? Like a Teddy Bear? Yeah, okay. like a, a Teddy Fleece. Um, Alright. And there was a part of me that was just like, am I going to open this box and am I going to get assaulted by Teddy Long? Hey, like, am I gonna open this box and then the guy's just gonna pop out and say, for that you get to go one on one with the Undertaker? <laughs> like... That was an experience. <laughs> just open the box. Now, hold on a minute, player. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh.
I mean, it's still not as funny as Batman ass 16 inch. Um, so, assortment of Batman figures of at 16 inches on the box was labeled oh. Batman ass 16 inch. Ah, uh, I understand. <laughs> I, I I've seen assortments shortened to ass, ass. many many times. Yes. The prudent people will do ASST, but most people won't. No, they'll they'll do. They just do ass, and it's like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> also, that is a scrap. Whoop. Uh, scroll all the way down. 5A something. I think. 560. Maybe less. 560. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I guess it's around there. Just like, yeah, I guess. Okay, that is Scrafty. Oh, it's a shaking grass on Route 15. I've got to check it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I'm sad. That's nice. Zap. Garboda. Right, I'm just gonna go for the throat on this one, I think. I mean, it's gonna survive. Can't do shit, but it'll survive. You know, scenarios like that, that is why Magnazone used hidden power for so long. We've got the Poker Transfer Lab here. This is how we bring things up from Gen 4.
I guess the Cinnabar Doctor got transferred. Yeah, you got transferred out. Ah, uh, this place. I don't remember if I've done this yet. I don't think I have. I've done it before I because I have the Garchomp in Gen 9. I did the White Tree Hall, I don't think I've done Black Tower yet. Yeah, this place is, uh... Dull. Yeah. To be fair, they're both dull in this version. If you were playing they white, are. you'd get white forest, and depending on how many trainers you meet, um, different wild Pokemon will spawn in there, and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, well, that's lovely. <laughs> However, they took that out of white too, so it's like, uh. Mm. Alright, so that's... everything over here. Because we can't actually do what we need to do in <coughs> Twist Mountain, really. Well, we can. It's winter. Yeah, but we can still get the fossils. Because I'm pretty sure that room where you get lace on is only available in the winter. It's not, because it's on the way to um, Regigigas. Oh, uh, yeah. Never mind then. <laughs> Spoiler warning, he's here. There is, there is one room I think is only accessible in winter. Uh, should we do Twist Mountain now? way faster to navigate. Yeah, let's do Twist Mountain now. And that'll get us to Icarus City. Oh yeah, there's a quiz man in here. In black and white too. <laughs> I 
Oh yeah, there are a couple of rooms only accessible in winter. Also, we have better ultra cryogonal. Yeah, you have way better ultra cryogonal. And cup chew, but I think you already have one of those. I've got cup chew, yeah. Oh, that's fine. Heat more is here, five percent, but it goes up to twenty percent in the summer. Oh, they put heat more in here. I put it somewhere, I guess. Wait, this is—is is this diamond dust or is it just hail? This is hail. Oh yeah, I mean, this is. A lot more colorful, I guess. It's buried under the snow. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so messed up. <laughs> I'm like, why can't I pick it up? Oh, it's under me. <laughs> That's actually funny. Right, I'm not stupid enough to try this. <laughs> so we're just gonna uh, tag out for probably this. No. Okay, that's not what I expected. I was expecting psychic. I'm sorry. What did it click? Sky attack. What? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. I'm like, wait. <laughs> Sky attack in the year of our Lord 2024 on a fucking sigilif. There are some very funny things you can do with Sky attack. That isn't one of them. <laughs> At least it's not Razor Wind, which is always, always bad. Oh, Razor Wind is a fucking awful move. Let me just verify something real quick. Oh no, it's attack stat has actually gone over special attack now. Look at my healing point. Oh. <laughs> oh, completely no. erect. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, that's not saving you. <laughs> It's like, that's, that's lovely. Your base defense is 10. Get off my screen. <laughs> Still faster than Gen 4. Twelve thousand experience points. Jesus. That's not, that's not even the most I've gotten in this game. In the later levels of Black City or White Tree, all you'll see like level 80 Blissey. Yeah, I know it, about that. It's insane. It's so insane. That's how you get the um the achievement for. I think it's like get a get a million experience in one run. 
Okay, that is a... Uh... That's a claw fossil, so we can get an anorith. Ooh, baby. I'm interested in this. Hey, Cryogonal. Right, where are you at in this fucking list? Uh, quite late. 6 12, I think, around there. 6 15. I just got fucking jumped. Uh, that's the entrance to Clay Tunnel. Which will take us to Mr. Alton Cave and Drift Vale. And that is a wild bit. Oh, he EP. Okay, well. EP. Be advised, I'm going Betty Buys. Nice. Okay, so Betty. Gee, I wonder what's that in our room back there. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Bonking. We will have to, uh, come back to that at some point. Excuse me? <laughs> Surprise boss fight. Um, I just walked into the room and got accosted by a veteran with four things, and one of them's a fucking level 63 Weavile to just set up. I want to say this is one of the trainers that only bears in winter. It is, and he's the toughest thing in here. Well, by a mile. I just knew it is Weavile. Oh wait, no, there's another veteran in here. With four things. Oh, there's one veteran with a triple battle, one with a rotation battle. That's insane. Akron. Oh, you crafty bitch. <laughs> Hold that fork. Oh, 
I was expecting Night Slash. <laughs> Well, now I know he's got dry skin. Oh shit. God is dead! Hmm. <laughs> well, there is Excadrill. There is Excadrill. <laughs> Assuming you're off speed. I might. Okay. Salvaged. For now. Christ. God, am I glad that thing's frail. <laughs> Alright, let me look at the other veterans in here. My reward is a big nugget, so you know what? Good news! I think that was the weakest veteran in here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I looked at the teams of the other ones like, ooh, this is funny. This guy? Or is he further in? The important thing is we made it here. Ah, yeah, Sister is setting. Talk to many Palpatoes and. Yeah, go, go. Because finally He'll I can empty my bag. <laughs> he buys gems, nuggets, and the like. He buys anything that's a rock. A big nugget for 30 grand? I'm not going to complain. Double the normal selling price. Indeed. Big pearls? Even buys nuggets for more than it's like twice what they're worth. Seventy five hundred for a big pearl. It's shaking him. I think the man might be having an epileptic fit. Evolution stones as well, but that's kind of uh, lame. Why would you do that? <laughs> Ten grand for a standard nugget.
God, I wish this was Scarlet and Violet where I could just bulk sell. Like, yes, sir, I would just like to, you to print a receipt out of your mouth while I decide what you're buying. To be fair, this is the only time, this is the only time where you sell them one at a time. Yeah, it's always the item maniacs. Regular pearls. 1400. I think even the item maniacs in later games let you bulk sell. Two grand for Stardust. What are we gonna buy with all this money? Pokeballs. Okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> remember what we're doing here. I'm just trying to remember, like, what are you buying in this game? Pokeballs, TMs. Nine star pieces. Wait, 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 wait. You can trade the star pieces to someone in Anvil Town for PP ups. Yeah, fair. Uh... It's why it's why I actually like to hold on to star pieces. Okay, that's everything. He's made us a good chunk of change. All right, there is a lot we can do in this city, but we're gonna uh, park all that for later. Like the Shadow Triad. Like the Shadow Triad and Dragon Spiral Tower and Route 8 with its many palpitodes. And the Mura Vicarus with its many nothing. Oh yeah, is there, more Vicarus doesn't really have anything anymore. No, because except, except for like Stunfisk and that's basically it. They moved the Keldeo event to a place you might not even know exists. Like the Mura Vicarus. <laughs> Like, I have been to the Pledge Grove. I still don't know where it is. Behind Alder's house. I know it's. Oh, it's behind Alder's house. I thought it was south of the Pokemon Center. No, it's behind his house. Okay. I just remember, like, the entrance is stupidly hard to find. Right, we can finally go on Sky Arrow Bridge. It's always been so surreal doing this backwards. I'm used to it because this is where I hatched eggs in black and white one. And in black and white two, actually. I would just ride back and forth on this bridge. Oh, there goes the Royal Universe. Yep. It's a real part of doing this in bed. It's Like, these bridges were just them showing off. Yeah. That's the gimmick of this game. Bridges. And funny camera angles. In the next one, I tried to do funny camera angles, and they all sucked. Looking at you as your bay. Fucking that base. I can't see shit. <laughs> and neither can anybody else. Pinwheel Forest. I think there's two grottos here. I think so, yeah. Jotaro! Jotaro! It's like, why do you all react like that? His name is Jojo. <laughs> like, it's. You don't even have to watch anime and you know. It's like my, fr my friend was playing X4 for the first time. He didn't know the story, however, he knew of that scene. 
because everyone knows of that scene. <laughs> he was playing a zero. I'm like, okay. Y you know what's gonna happen. You know it's coming. <laughs> like he didn't know, but then the moment he saw it, started like, oh, this. Okay, oh. I know what this is. <laughs> oh, the bitch dies. <laughs> yeah, his reaction was like, wait, was she just like pro genocide? <laughs> Because she was wishing for the world where only reploids exist. <laughs> and he got hung up on that. It was so funny. I don't know why I never noticed that before. Christ, there's a move you don't see anymore. Or, like, ever. Because it got supplanted by aromatherapy. <laughs> Which is the exact same thing. Yep. And, and more things get it. Yep. I guess I'll use this heal bill on my... Delcaddy? Delcaddy, Miltank, Chimeco... Well, see, it's both. Perugly? Let me actually... That just gave me a stupid idea. Why does this child- why does this preschooler have a fucking Dratini? <laughs> yeah, lucky you fished it up. It's like that kid on uh, Route 204. My dad gave me a Pokemon, he really loves me and it's a Magikarp. And then this bitch is here like, my dad gave me a Pokemon, he really loves me and it's a fucking Dragonite. You know the funny thing about the Magikarp thing? That's only Platinum and Diamond probably has something else. I think that pretty is like a Starly or something. He's got something with a bit of bite. <laughs> he has something to get. Let me actually look it up. It was like 204. I can't remember. It's 3 or 4. Is 3 the one that goes east? 3 is the one that goes east. 204 is the one that goes north. And then yeah. 217 is the one that goes west. I thought it was 218. Was it 218? It's 218. Because 217 is, um,. The no. one with the content blizzard. Yeah. Okay, I found it. In Diamond Pearl, he has a Magikarp and a Starly. That's it. Uh, in, Platinum, just, in Platinum, he just has a Magikarp. It's so messed up. Oh right, you're a thing. Very, my boy. I still very fondly remember that challenge. I will use the Cypher one day. No, you won't. They're to inform you that I don't believe you. True. That one's really hard to get, and all you get is like nest balls or something. It's just like 15 things in here. Ah, the classic.
Everybody loves the classic double battle setup of this. What's the one it's so good that this is how Scarlet and Violet introduces the Blueberry Academy to you. Plus a mine and followed immediately by an Escadrill. But <laughs> and then you never see Lacey's plus a mine and again because when you fight her as an Elite Four member, it's like fairy, and also this Escadrill. You can tell that is pretty authentic. Gen 5 experience of Excadrill Bomb Scare. <laughs> it's like, ah, you're definitely Clay's daughter. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was gonna look at things that got healed, though. Alright, uh, Miltank, Celebi, Skitty, Chimeco, Chansey, Snubble, Audino. <laughs> Everyone yeah, sit down and shut up. <laughs> Oh, is this the dude with the ferret horn? I think he might be. Also, tactical nut. Nut, 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 nut. Yeah, I've got all week. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Not as much as you think. Because the stack isn't that high. Ferrothorn should have been a double battle. That did nothing. That did nothing. <laughs> That's more like it. That. I think it's get up by tutor. to not kill the Whirlipede. I promise not being able to deliver even less. I need the Whirlipede to not kill itself. Quite literally the Pokemon version, if it fits, I sit.
Look at him wiggle. This is followed immediately by Bear. Fuck it, why not? It's funny. Okay, I missed. Max Repel. I need to get my uh, 3DS charger in a sec. Well, I've got both of you, that's, that's kind of whatever. Hey, what funny things are in here? Imagine not a lot. But we also haven't filled out the habitat list, so... Have headless also counts directly outside. Uh, ooh. Oh, Vigoroth is here. What's he? Vigoroth. Vigoroth. Okay. Yes. And then what's outside? Yum, Toxicroak, Palpatoad. <laughs> uh, late. those are the days. Yeah, the good old days. Dream in position, I go. Ooh. There appears to be only one hidden grotto here. Well, there was two. I thought there was two as well. Let me look at the. Yeah, look at the hidden grotto list. I'm getting poked Where's by a cushion right in the fucking crotch. <laughs> oh no, there are, there are two. My mistake. I think they just have the same things. That was a noise. Oh, there's one inside, one outside. Ah, that'll be it. One, the one inside is like underneath the bridges or something. Okay. And then the one outside is by the rock. <laughs> Not a boulder. A rock. Pioneers used to ride these babies for miles.
I'd be a bit more concerned if it was an Ursa Luna. Just a bit. I don't know why everyone's like, oh, Luxray should be a dark type. Why? Because it needs to have something going for it. <sighs> Fair. That's it, that's the only reason. Uh, that's indeed a wild figure of. Right. All I need you to do, Jaren, is not kill the sloth. While I scroll up to the sloth. 280 something. 288. Oh, for fuck's sake, Jaren. It's okay. Bigger off isn't that rare. It's like 15%. I'm not 15%. asking so much. It's not that hard to find, thankfully. I feel like I'm asking for a lot, but I know I'm not. What have we here? No. Sorry, Primeape, I love you. <laughs> but, uh. You're kind of outclassed in this game. I. Like everything. Everything. <laughs> That's a scary, scary thing to deal with. Sure is funny though. Nice to see Takato's uh, getting some notoriety in these games. Oh, don't mind if I do. You'd be surprised with the frequency that goes off. Not that surprised. Shorts man. Oh, well, that's nothing.
Okay, I'm going to attack the Vigoroth and I'm going to see what the Stoutland does. You're not catching a big rock with him around. It's not happening. But he's meant to like normal types. Which is why he's so good to kill them. <gasps> An actual rusting and he just walked right through. Yeah, the yeah. NPC. That's twice that's happened in this game. I didn't even know they could do that. Yeah, we've but seen I'm it happen wise. twice. Do you know what the likelihood of that is? Pretty good. It's, it's pretty good, apparently, actually, yeah. Just like the odds of apparently finding did. Regenerator Fungus. I think the odds of, uh... I didn't know it could happen because there aren't a lot of NPCs that walk around in grass. It's like... Rangers, and that's basically it. Oh, hey, it's you. Mmm, soup. Come back in three generations. Yeah, we made his leak bigger. That is indeed a big haunt. I'd say come back in three generations, except we did it <laughs> like an actual big haunt. I like how Wolf Glick on day one of Worlds the other day went completely undefeated. Oh, I heard about that. It was it made me very sad. And he went completely undefeated with a team of the most meta picks. Everybody knows what they do and everyone has a counter for them. Oh, really? Yeah. What was what was this team anyway? Hang on, I'll tell you. Um I I just heard that like he burned out really badly on day 2 and that made me sad. I, I can tell you exactly what his team was. It is literally the most. Like I did hear that he did. I did hear that he did not lose a single game on day one. He didn't lose a single round on day one. No, like a single game. Yeah, like he lost. Like he he went, lost nothing. He went two zero on everything, which is crazy. Meanwhile, Sage and Parks out here fucking bringing back Pachirisi. I looked at his team like he's only got one restricted, huh? Huh? He knows what he's that's, doing. That's funny. That's funny. Oh, that's scary. Look, if this were Gen 8, I wouldn't expect, like, Weakness Odyssey and Ludic Glow to go off right now. Because <laughs> Crow, I just U turns and leaves. Uh, I'm gonna Ice Beam the Crowbat. Yeah, apparently he got eliminated in top 32. Yeah. What was this? What was this team? Uh, Did you me, find it? Let me just find it. Because I, I saw it, and I was like, this is the most milk toast fucking obvious <laughs> team you could have picked. And I was like, bro. <laughs> like it was the most on the nose. Everybody knows what these do. Everybody knows how to count on them kind of team. Uh, did I retweet it? No, I did not. I need to find it. But that's a Magmortar. I'm just gonna click Surf. Fuck that. 
He was ready. I mean, there's a lot of discourse about Pachirisu. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but whatever. It's been 10 years. Ah, oh, it's been 10 years. It has been 10 years. Yeah, he brought it back. slide at this point. Uh, let's see. That's not the target I was expecting. No, no was I. Fuck it, we do it again. It gets Aqua Tail? <gasps> Apparently. On. Uh, oh, quick. trying to find it. Also, that move went exactly the way I thought it would. <laughs> now, that Leafeon did not give a shit. Beautiful. Oh. Oh, he's got it. That's got a it. funny... That's a funny finisher. Hmm. Uh, I'm actually gonna switch. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <clears throat> uh, let me see. Uh... Yeah, I'm trying to find his team. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, so it is quite uh, literally the most milk toast. You know what these do, you know how to counter them, and you have a counter for them, team, right? Alright. Incineroar, Rillaboom, Urshifu, Farigarath, Shadow Rider, Calyrex, and Raging Bolt. That's very predictable. It's like you know exactly what these things do. You have a counter for each of these because you expect to see them. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, uh, that's so goofy. Yeah, I looked at that team and I was like, even I know how to counter that shit. <laughs> what was going on? Reaching Bolt is just a dragon type berserker tree, right? <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, but it gets fun to clap, which is... That's like outspeed's priority in flinches or something? I think it is, yeah. Or is that upper hand? It's one of the two. Oh, it's not suck it's Sucker Punch. It's Sucker Punch, yeah. Upper hand might be the... I think that's outspeed priorities in flinches. I don't remember who gets that, though. Uh, I know Hariyama gets it. That's the only thing they showed it often using the trailer. <laughs> Upper hand. Yeah. Ah, huh, a bunch of things get it. It is a TM, I think, so... It's a TM, yeah. Mostly things with hands, and fighting types. Fighting types with hands. And a couple of non-fighting types of hands. Like Talon Flame. But yeah, that man just went in with the most. Yep, that's a V. That's baby's first VGC team. <laughs> uh, what year is it? Twenty twenty one. Well, no, because it was. Uh. Oh, she there. Yeah? You know Oshifu's Isle of Armor, right? Yeah. I forget Oshifu exists. <laughs> Even though it's very common in BGC. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder what the uh, current usage stats are like on various things. Uh... I'm also curious. I imagine Miraidon and the two horses are very, very high. Uh, top 12 on day 2. Rapid Strike Urshifu, 61%. That's not at all surprising, honestly. Uh, Rillaboom at 37. Raging Bolt at 33. Farigarath at 30. So yes, Giraffe Rig Evolving did matter. <laughs> I need priority block. Incineroar at 26. Yep. Iron Hands at 24. Half Flame Mask Ogapon at 20, Flutter Main at 19, Chiyu at 17, Cornerstone Wait. Mask Ogapon at 16. Rock type Ogapon? Oh, Rock type right. Ogapon, yeah. Uh, Whimsicott and Amoongus. Uh, I like how the two troll makers are right down there. Yeah, they're, they're still there. <laughs> so it's like the top two most used things are the things you'd expect Urshifu and Villaboom. Yeah. Then you got Raging yeah, Bolt. Like... Then there's Giraffe Rig's Evolution in the Year of Our Lord 2022. <laughs> well, 2024. Because now. Of arm... It's because of Armor Tail. It's because of Armor Tail and Giraffe. Uh, Frigga Raff is actually kind of bulky. And like it's got good stats, yeah. Because like, there's been a bunch of priority blocking things. Like Serena gained some traction, but like it's not that great. Uh, Incineroar, obviously. Mm -hmm. Although its usage is nowhere near as high. Yeah. Uh, Flutter Main just won't go away. I think that's something we just need to accept at this stage. Yeah. 
And the Ogre Pond forms that get used seem to just depend on the meta around them. That honestly makes a lot of sense. Because Ogre Pond just does whatever you want it to do. Yeah, Ogre Pond just like, I need something on my team. Ogre Pond. It's like that, I can't think of a sixth thing. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's that's fairly strong. I, I think I saw Altario was being used by someone at one point. This feels like an anomaly. Uh, top eight restricted on day two. I have a the guess. Two of what... it's, it's it's Shadow Rider Calyrex and Maridon at the top, right? Nope. So Shadow Rider Calyrex is the top at twenty three point five percent. Oh wait, this I forgot. Kyogre and Lunala are probably running. Uh, Ice Rider Calyrex is the second most used at 22%. Of course it is. Uh, then Maridon at 16%. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Then Zamazenta. Like... Oh yeah, I got told that Zamazenta is being used, which is crazy. Uh, then Terrapagos, actually. Oh, I would think Terrapagos is not... I don't know. It's 9%, but again, this is your restricted pick. Uh, then yeah. Kyogre, mm -hmm. then Koridon, and then Groudon. Well, no, no Lunala? No Lunala, in the, it's not in the top 8. Groudon is 2.8%. Interesting. So the usage on the other stuff is low. Oh wait, Zamazenta gets wide guard. Yeah. That kind of makes it better than Lunala. Uh, let me look at this here. Um... Oh, and it gets body press, which it didn't in Gen 8, which makes me angry. Like, if it got body press in Gen 8, it would actually be actually really good. So here's the list of all things that are being used. So, Amoongus. Mm -hmm. Obviously. Incarnate Landorus. <laughs> Sorry. Obviously. Uh-huh. Uh, Clefairy. Is that like at, what, 14 or something? 12.3. I mean, 14. But oh. Whatever. Yeah, 12%. Yeah. That's... Yeah, that's not kind even going away. Zama's Enter and Urshifu. Then Shen right. Pao and Indeedee. Terrapagos and Smeagol, uh, female. Okay, yeah. Terrapagos and Smeagol, because Smeagol just won't go away. It will never, ever go away. Incarnate Tornadus. Blood Moon Ursa Luna. <laughs> Run, boy. <laughs> Pelipper, then Kyogre, Ditto, Grimmsnarl, Dondozo, and Golden Go. Dondozo? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rhydon, Galarian Weezing, and I think that is Stretchy Tatsugiri. Then Torkoal. Oh wait, is the difference only what order up it comes? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so usage on all teams, no restricted Pokemon. Uh, Rapid Strike Urshifu. I'm not learning Fisher. Then Incineroar, then Raging Bolt, then Rillaboom, Farigarath, Tornadus, Cornerstone Ogapon, Blood Moon Ursa Luna. Because that thing's fucking terrifying. Whimsicott, Flood of Main, Half Flame Ogapon, Chi Yu, Clefairy. Again, I don't know. Iron Why? Hands. Clefairy? Yeah. Clefairy is easy. It's got friend guard. Uh, fair enough. Also um, a very stupid support move pool. Iron Hands, Shen Pao, Grimmsnarl, Female Indeedee, Landorus, Alolan Ninetales. That won't go away. Yeah, that will never Sadly. go away. 
Pelipper, Serena, just if you didn't fancy using Farigraph, apparently. Uh, <laughs> Urshifu, Single Strike, Volcarona, and then we get into all the things that we used on one team, alright? So these are all the things that someone brought. Okay. Alchemy. Probably for decorate shenanigans. It would be decorate, obviously, yeah. Arcaluna. And oh, Aromaville? I forget what it's, the ability is called. Alright, Arcaludon. Basque Legion. Bold choice. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's a choice. Uh, Serilege. I mean, that's not that crazy. No, it's not. Charizard. Eh. Eh. Dondozo and Drifblim. I guess I get it. And Polion. Probably for... Defiant. Or competitive, rather. Competitive. Whatever. Uh, Flamigo. I can imagine where that goes. Yes. Uh, someone. Someone. And mad props to them. I will shake your hand, my good sir. Brought a Frostmoth. Excuse me? Someone brought a Frostmoth to Worlds. What? No, I don't Frostmoth? know. I need to see a frost like a new toy or something. <laughs> Someone, it's, it's here, it's on the usage chat. One person brought a frost buff. <laughs> but wait, it gets weirder. Tailwing <laughs> wide guard, I, I guess? <laughs> it gets That's weirder weird. than someone bringing my favorite moth boy. Iron Jugulus. Someone brought Iron Jugulus? What? Yeah, someone brought Iron Jugulus. Um... No, I don't know why. Uh, someone brought a Cleavor. Uh huh. Someone brought Kamoa. I think I heard about that. Because it gets a body cross. Uh, crocodile. Did you find? Okay, I, now I want to shake that guy's hand. So my man brought a crocodile of the world. He's he's desperate to make it work. Like that's <laughs> good day to you, sir. Mian Shao. Uh huh? Yep. Someone brought Wellspring Ogapon. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Did you find the hidden, hidden grotto yet? It's around somewhere. Uh, someone brought a Raichu. That isn't that crazy because it gets like fake out and lightning rod and all kinds of weird saucy stuff. Someone also brought an Alolan Raichu. He used the Maridon probably. Okay, are you ready for the thing I did not expect to see on this list? Uh, ready to deliver me. Reggie Gigas. <laughs> I'm looking down this list and I saw that and I was like, really? To be fair, you did mention Weezing. Yes, Galarian Weezing is also on here. Uh, one one person used it. Probably the same person. <laughs> Almost certainly. Uh, Sable Eyes on here. Oh. Uh. I think we'll never die. Uh, Slow King, Smeagol, Tatsugiri, Fury and Thunderous. Someone brought a Fury and Form Thunderous. A snake? That's so weird. All right. Someone brought Wo Shien. Snail? The snail. Yep. Uh huh. <laughs> Someone brought an Amped Toxtricity. Uh. -huh. Alright. And another person whose hand I want to shake. Uh, someone brought a Torterra. Oh. Oh, yes. No. <laughs> I heard Torterra is like weirdly saucy in Gen 9 now. Yeah, it gets Headlong Rush and Shell Smash. And you can harrow away its four times ice weakness. Exactly.
but yeah, that that's that's the usage stats for day one of VGC, and I'm I'm there looking at it going, that's fucking weird. I like in a good way. Yeah. Uh, Except for maybe the toxicity, I don't get that. Uh, no, I don't quite understand that either. Uh, the top restricted uses. So, Calyrex Shadow Rider was brought six times. Kyogre was brought four times. Maridon was brought four times. Zamazenta was brought three times. Karidon was brought twice, which is... Okay. Uh, then, I didn't expect to see this, White Curum was twice. I mean, I kind of get it. I kind of get it. Uh, Ice Rider Calyrex was only brought once. <laughs> Origin Form Palkia was brought. I, I, sure, I guess. I, did, I didn't know that it existed outside of Legends. Yeah, it does. Do you give it like the, the Legends yeah, you, you, you give it, the, you give it, the, you give it the, uh, the orb. And it will transform. Okay. Uh, and someone brought a Rayquaza and a Terrafagos. <laughs> Remember, if there's weather, there's Rayquaza. Yeah. And if there's weather, you can also bring Terrafagos. <laughs> White Curum got more usage than Calyrex Ice? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> I don't know what to think about, honestly. Uh, what is this, fucking Gen 5? Shit to that. Uh, yeah, VGC this year has been wild, but they've also fucked around with the format, so yeah, it's kind of encouraged people to think outside the box because obviously every month has been different. And it's just nice to see that Incineroar's not just running around the place anymore. I mean, that, it, that kind of stopped happening when Gilded Moon became a thing. But also, it's so nice to see. There's a VGC top cut list. And Landorus isn't there. Oh, you know what? I think the reality that everything could potentially have a nice type move might <laughs> have something to do with that. I do also think that letting the ice horse out of the fucking cage is also probably something to do with it. Too, motherfucker. Uh, 
Oh, it's not the Lustrous Orb, it's the Lush bigger Lustrous Orb. It's the Lustrous Globe, that's it. That's it. Lustrous Globe and Adamant Crystal. And then there's Garatina that's like, ah, fuck it, both of them. <laughs> Doesn't make a difference. You can use the Grizzius Orb or the Grizzius Core. Oh, that's how they change it, okay. Yeah. Doesn't matter which one you give it, it still transforms. Nah, it looks like in Gen 9 they tweaked the base one to not transform it. Huh, that's weird. So you have a choice. Wow, we can actually have altered Garatina with... buff moves, that's... I don't know if you would, though. No, I don't think anybody's... <laughs> Again, as tanky as that form of Garatina is, Calyrex is running around, yeah. so... <laughs> Yeah, that's a bit of a concern. It's like, hey, uh, you're not winning that fight. You might take an astral barrage, but you're not gonna. You're not gonna hit it back hard enough to kill it. I think you'd have to use Shadow Force, probably. At which point you've just played your hand and he's gonna switch, switch. so it's like, yeah, whatever. Oh, you're gonna get the suck. No. What? <laughs> I'm looking at that and like, you lived. That was, that was weird. <laughs> Just like, oh, by the way, it lived. A nougat. Walk into that grass, you bitch. Oh, I need a snack. Oh, they're over there. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Oh no, anyway. You wouldn't be saying that if it were Norman. Extreme speed incoming! <laughs> like, well, he doesn't have that, just uh, at that point in the game, anything can go wrong.
Right, I'm going to avoid a repeat of this. Hey, you better shut up. Actually, using the tie rope to fight me, okay. Yes, that's lovely. Die. That is exclusively my answer to Scrafty now. hit my daily steps goal and not a lot else hooray I need to turn that up to be honest because 10,000 steps is not a lot in my job by a child again. I like that. I'm going to try and slow down your Selgo. No, you're not. Oh, baby. I guess that scary face did matter. Oh, now it's flexing.
<sighs> that was actually... Kind of disgusting. There's the grotto right there. I'm waiting for the funny. No funny. I was waiting for a Murkrow to show up. Jesus Christ. We're not that lucky. <laughs> Yet. Yet. That's on the other side of the rails, I'm pretty sure. Like here somewhere. I need to heal. <laughs> yeah, you do. That gauntlet nearly fucking wiped me out. Doesn't have any more hint medals to give me, that's a shame. Right. Do this one in this game. Okay, so now we can revive fossils. Is that egg? What egg? There's a woman there that gives you an egg. Wait, th this one? Yeah. Uh, does she say like what kind of egg it is? Or just no, just said there was, a, there, was, there was an egg. It's not my best, is it? Let me see. Happening, okay. Well, as our last thing today, uh, let's hatch an egg.
Wee. Also, yes, this is our egg tutorial in the post game. On an egg, it takes 40 cycles to hatch. Not like the Larvesta egg was any better. Pretty sure it's also 40. Yeah, the Larvesta egg was just. Ooh! <laughs> We're doing a lot. Okay. You gotta get that fucker at level 1 and they want you to raise it to level 59. To be fair, you can wait till the post game and catch on level 65. Yep. Come on. I think this might be the longest straight line in the series. <laughs> Unless you want to count the, uh, the Lumio City Eyehole Tower loop, which is infinite in length. There's one in uh, Scarlet and Violet well, it's basically infinite. Is it circular? It's circular, yeah, it's in the Vinci. Mm. Just hop on your dragon bike and off you go.
was still going. <laughs> That shall do for today. Sensible. So we've unlocked fossils, we have unlocked transfer, we're about to unlock breeding and fishing. And I think that's it. Outside of specific side quests. Nice. And then the world is our oyster. So to speak. <laughs> <laughs>